Welcome back. If you watched the first two videos in our Getting Started series, you'll know how quick and easy it is to create a process flow in Simulate and how to start building data into your simulation. Simulate is built for speed and experimentation, so getting to your results fast is an important factor when looking to change, amend, or improve a process. Results data can prove to be a valuable insight for change within your organization. It could mean the difference between a project succeeding or failing. Let's see how quick and easy it is to access results and simulate. Running the simulation will allow the charts and numbers above the objects to dynamically update. The animation within simulate will allow you to instantly see any bottlenecks within your process. If I stop this midway and click into any of the objects, you can see straight away the results for the run so far. These results are available at any time in the run cycle. Of course, you want to focus in on the results that are important to you, and in Simulate you can collect results to view and analyze in the Results Manager. I've started to add a few KPIs to analyze. All of the results for your process can be found in the Results Manager, which you will find on the Home tab. There is a selection of options at your disposal, which will give you a broad range of choices for your analysis. Quick single runs of your simulation will give you initial performance results, but running trials includes variability within the process and gives a true indication of how your process will perform in real life. By running trials, you can start to see exactly how accurate your results are, giving you an advantage for gaining buy-in or showing stakeholders how you envisage the process will improve. Object KPIs show the true variability of your process based on the trial run we completed, which includes these graphs called the more plot. These give you more in-depth results for analysis and allow you to assess the risk associated with any changes made to your process. KPI history gathers all the current run information based on your chosen KPIs. You can see the results based on changes you've made to your process. Let's look at another example. The Scenarios tab gives you the option to run various scenarios with different decision factors. It's easy to set up and track. If you're working with resources, you can test with various numbers of resources without directly changing the simulation. For example, you could test what would happen if you add more service desks, as shown in this example. Clicking on Get Results for All Combinations will display each of the results outlined, and you can view these results in a few different ways. Spider graph, chart, and raw data. All object results allow you to see information for all the objects in your simulation. You can get data for overall performance results of object types, or you can drill deeper into data analysis to get specific information on individual objects. This is especially useful when you have a large simulation where you want to track individual components. Let's look at the last example. Including financial reports within your data analysis, which calculate associated costs and revenue, lets you see the financial impact of the ideas you simulate, meaning you can drill down into the cost and revenue analysis with ease. If you're looking to create reports with specific KPIs to back up a business case, add buy-in power, or to gather data for your own records, then you can do this in the Custom Reports tab from the Results Manager. You also have a few options to add dashboard results within your main simulation screen, which can be found in the Insert tab. Here, you will find a host of options at your disposal to get the best possible solution for your needs. For more complex data, you have the ability to export to Excel, where you can create a custom template. This is useful for projects with large amount of data to be shared with others. Thanks for watching. This video has given you insight into a host of ways that you can gather your data and share your findings within Simulate. These are just a few of the options available to you. Gathering results and improving your process using Simulate is effortless. You build the process quickly, experiment, and get your results fast. We do not compromise on power, functionality, or flexibility. If you would like some more information on anything we have covered or would like to see the software in more detail, then get in touch to set up a demo with one of our simulation advisors.